All right. So not too long ago, I had to go to the eye doctor to renew my prescription for contact lenses. And like most people, I put off going to the eye doctor as long as I can, you know, until I'm on my last pair of contacts and they've been in my eyeballs for way too long. Every time I blink, it makes a sound effect. <laughs> So finally, I give up and I go to the eye doctor. And some of you out there might be like, hey, wait a minute, didn't this guy already make a cartoon on the eye doctor like 40 years ago? About the time when he was a kid and he got some ugly ass glasses that were too big for his face? Well, yeah, I did, but this is 2023 now and I'm an adult. No more of those double bridge Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. I got me some contact lenses now. And I have to say a lot has changed in the old eye doctor world since then. I mean, sure, some things are still the same. You still have to go through all those tests with the eye doctor's assistant. You know, like the test where you have to smash your face up against the machine and stare at a fucking hot air balloon while they measure the circumference of your eyeball or whatever the hell they do. Now, maybe instead of the hot air balloon, some of you may get the, uh, the old big barn on the horizon, whatever your flavor is. And I don't know about you, but every time I stare at that thing, I feel like I'm being set up for like one of those jump scares, like it's fucking 2006 again. Okay, now focus on the big balloon. Open up really big now. Just a few more seconds and blah. Ah, piss. Okay, good, you saw the demon, right? That, uh, that means you don't have cataracts or some shit, I don't know. All right, on to the next test. And the next test, of course, is that piece of shit glaucoma test that everybody hates. You know, where you put your head in one of these bad boys and they're all like, okay, you're gonna feel a little puff of air on your eyeball, you ready? Okay, let's do the next eye. So immediately I'm on guard at this point. I know that test is coming. It's always after the hot air balloon. Well, imagine my surprise when this lady pulls out a little handheld thingy. And my first thought was, oh, fuck, they turned it into a gun? This is going to be bad. So she pulls the hammer back on this thing and points it at me all execution style. All right, now you might feel a little tickle on your eyeball. You ready? Dad, uh, are you holding your breath right now? Can you just get it over with already? Now, I'll be damned, but this lady was correct. It is just a little tickle on your eyeball now. <laughs> Holy hell, put a point on the board for the eye doctor in 2023. They fixed the goddamn glaucoma test. What a time to be alive. So now I'm feeling pretty good. That is, until they make the arbitrary decision that they need to dilate my eyeballs. Now, if you never had your eyes dilated before, well, the process works like this. First, they drop battery acid into your eyeballs, and then they make you Stevie Wonder your ass back out to the waiting room for 15 minutes until your fucking pupils look like you just dropped acid, and everything around you looks like fucking graphics from a Nintendo 64. But put another point on the board for the eye doctors in 2023, because now they offer an alternative. Okay, so we can dilate your eyeballs the old-fashioned way with the battery acid or for an extra $35 we can skip the dilation and use this new fancy machine that we got $35 lady I would have ate stuff out of your garbage can if it got me out of get my fucking eyes dilated sign me up hell yes eye doctor in 2023 I would buy a t-shirt at this point if they had a fucking merch shop so finally the opening act is over and now it's time to see the headliner the old big daddy eye doctor himself now I've encountered many eye doctors in my extensive past of troubled eyesight and most of them seem to be no nonsense guys that seem generally pissed off to be eye doctors in the first place for whatever reason but this guy burst in the door with the energy of like a fucking 90s game show host hey there howdy who i'm dr sunshine who's ready to play the family feud uh, I'm here for contact lenses. Yeah, I see that. Tell me, how long have you had those crusty things in there for? Uh, not too long, really. <laughs> Christ almighty, those things look like they've been in there since the Bush administration. Here, let me peel them bad boys out for you. And then suddenly the doctor leans over and he scoops the contacts out of my eyes himself like he's doing a fucking magic trick. Now, I don't know if you've ever had a grown man take your contacts out for you, but personally, I didn't know if I should be uncomfortable or impressed. Uh, you know, I could have done that myself, right? Oh, it's okay. I love touching eyeballs. What? Nothing. <clears throat> Anyways, let's do your exam. So unfortunately, the uh, 2023 eye doctor still has the same fucking steampunk eyeball contraption thing that they slide on your face. But the big difference this time around was that I didn't feel pressured one bit when comparing the different slides. You see, when I was a kid, I could always sense the doctor's impatience as I struggled to figure out which slide was blurrier than the other. I'd be sitting there panicking, feeling the pressure. Okay, we have number one and number two. Uh, uh, oh God. Number one and number two. Uh, could you like put them side by side? Oh, for fuck's sake, how hard is it? You know what? To hell with it. I'll just pick for you. And if you end up with Coke bottle glasses, that's on your indecisive ass. But that's not the case for the eye doctor in 2023. No, this guy's got the fucking patience of a Shaolin monk. Okie dokie, we have three and we have four. Uh, uh, oh lordy. Three again and four again. Uh, is there any way you could like do them side by side? Oh, you know, I sure wish I could, but uh, well, it turns out that would be fucking stupid as hell. <clears throat> three and four. 
And then once that was over, that was it. The appointment's over. I got my prognosis, which I already knew, and then they send me out the door and I don't even have to Stevie Wonder my ass out there with the cardboard sunglasses. Eye doctor in 2023, not a bad time. I can blink like a normal human being again, the eye doctor didn't make me feel like an idiot, and I even got a sucker at the end. So if you're a piece of shit like I am, and you've been putting off going to the eye doctor, well, knock it off and get your ass in there. You'll become a diehard fan just like me. The end. BrewStew.com